Hello, everybody, and happy, what day is it? I'm like looking up here like it's going to tell me. Tuesday. It's a wonky um, time of year right now because it's snowing and the weather is off, so they're canceling school and changing school and half days of school. Anyway, I wanted to hop on to share a quick idea with you around getting specific. And the reason I want to bring this up is because I've spoken to two people today um, about some ideas that they have. The first woman I spoke with today, when we started talking, it was clear she just had a lot going on in her mind. She's in this transition in her life. Hey, Jenny. Hello. Um, she, she's in this transition in her life, and she's facing kind of some big decisions, like, well, should I, should I do this? Should I do that? What, what should I do? And she's spending a lot of time in her head thinking about it. Um, so there's just a lot of energy happening emotionally, right? Because when we think a lot, we feel a lot. So there's just all this energy happening emotionally, and she's looking for a way, not only what to do next, but but to kind of settle down from that feeling because it's just it's keeping her up at night, and she's thinking about it in the morning. Hi, Laura. And so when we spoke, and we only spoke for a little bit, she'd signed up for a discovery call to see if there could be a possible fit for some longer term work together, and. I realized as we were talking that the idea she had for what she wanted to make happen, right, that thing she perhaps wanted to discover was very unclear. It was almost like it was out of focus. And I started to ask her questions to try and get more specific about it, just for my own kind of edification, because I didn't quite understand. So I was like, so, you know, what do you think your options are? How much money is it you want to make? What's your timeline? And through kind of some of these questions and and taking this idea, hi Karen, and taking this idea and really one kind of slowing down her thinking, but doing that by really hyper focusing on making it tangible. So sometimes someone will, um, you know, it's it, the good example I like to use. Someone says, "I need to make some money." I need to make some money. That idea just, it's out of focus. It's foggy. It's like, it's, it's like you're seeing it through a haze of fog. And I like to say, well, how much money? How much money and in what amount of time? Well, I'd like to make $1,000 in a month. All of a sudden, the picture crisps up. It's like you twist a little focus dial, dial and getting specific about it makes it tangible, makes it something we can focus on and turn into a project, right? Turn your problem into a project. And when you do that, when you let yourself get really specific, it it naturally helps all the thinking settle down because you're no longer up and I go, oh, God, I make money. I got to make money. It's, oh, I need to make $1,000 in a month. And how can we do that? What are the steps that we can take or that you can take to make that happen? It, ha it came up again, just I'm actually holding office hours right now. I stepped away from my office hours to hop in and do this call. To, take, to do this video. But similarly, this woman I was speaking with just has this kind of idea that feels pretty nebulous. It's like, what, you know, I kind of want to do this thing, but I don't know what it looks like. And my assignment to her, my suggestion was her was like, well, then go out and get all the information you can about it. You know, it's a program she wants to take. She's not sure if the investment um, is something that she wants to do or if she's going to have the time. So she's spending all her time thinking about that, wondering about it, speculating about it. It's just this thought noise that just, just is with us all the time. And I told her, I said, go find the answers to all of your questions. Figure out what the program costs, what the time commitment is. Because when you have, when you get specific and you, you just Im improve and amp up the resolution on this idea that you have, it, it just, it counteracts and counterbalances all of the speculative noise that's up in your head. I'm curious if this is resonating, you know, feel free to post comments. I see a few of you are here live, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, just this idea of, of if there's something you're thinking about, an idea you have, maybe you're in the middle of kind of taking steps on this thing that you want, either you're started, but you're not sure, or you're started, but you're feeling overwhelmed, or you're not sure exactly where to start. I would just love to know how specific it feels, how many details you've got. And if you don't have many, if it's just like this, again, kind of amorphic vision, it's likely to get into your head more and to feel more 
just noisy, if that makes sense. Um, so anyway, that's, that's my thought for today is how specific is what you want? And if it's not, can you let yourself get specific? And an interesting thing, the first woman I spoke with today, what I left her with is a, is a common tool that I encourage people to use is something called um, a could list. Sometimes when we're in these moments of like, I don't know what to do next, it's really helpful to take the pressure off from figuring out what to do and ask yourself, well, what could I do? What are all the things that you could do? And again, that brings you into this, this place of specificity, which settles and quiets the noise down and and she got off the call just feeling so much better because because it went from like being in the fog to suddenly this crisp picture karen says specific information helps you get a better feeling for your decision well totally and it just gives you something specific you can work towards um so if you know for those of you who are watching if we have the chance to speak i'm going to ask a lot of questions and if you don't know the answers i'm going to charge you with finding the answers because finding answers doesn't commit you to doing anything if you said to me i want to travel around the world but i don't know how if i can do it i'm going to say how much does it cost to travel around the world and i think what happens is we keep ourselves from just researching from finding out information because we think it commits us to actually doing it like well if i find out that it's fifteen hundred dollars then i have to do it it's like no but it makes it so much more fun to play with because we can turn $1,500 into a project. But this thing of, I just don't know if I can do it is again, there's, there's not much meat to hold on to. Hi Vera. Laurel. I like the could list concept. I love could lists. It's one of my favorite assignments to give to people. Um, I can totally imagine you doing a could list. You know, we've talked a little bit about, you know, what's the thing? What's on the Island? What's the thing I want to do? It's like, well, what could you do? You don't have to do anything. There's no should, there's no have to, there's no, it's more what are the things you could do and and letting yourself just relax into the fun of that and almost letting yourself think impossibly like, God, it'd be, it'd be really cool if. That's another way of kind of feeding the could list. Laurel is much better than a should list, which is what I tend to do. Totally. I would love to know what comes up for you with a could list. What are the things you could do in the next year? It could be anything. There was a woman who I'm in conversation with who I, again, gave that challenge to. And I said, email me your list. And she emailed me this could list. And I said, oh, my gosh, so much of this is, is could be done. Like, it went from this nebulous idea to actually this list of things that she could do and take action on within that day or within that week. And then she took the next step and took the could list and, and converted it into a want list. Or she, she starred the things that she wanted to do. So... If you're not even there yet, if you're just kind of in this like, I don't know, but I know I want something different, perhaps start with that could. Because, again, getting specific makes it, one, when it's specific, you kind of, there's no way around it, right? Because it, it you realize how doable so many of our ideas actually are. Um, but it also kind of helps drain the thought noise that keeps us up at night when we have something real in front of us. So if there are any other questions, any other thoughts, feel free to leave them in uh, the comments. I'll be following up throughout the day. Lindsay, hello. How's the little wee, wee babe? Um, I'm just about to sign off, but I would feel free to listen back and share any thoughts or questions you have. I'm actually, I've got nine more minutes of office hours. So if you want to pop in and say hi, that would be great. Or if you want to set up a time for a deeper conversation, I'll go ahead and post that link in the comments. Um, so you can lakersign.com forward slash find. That's kind of the way, all the ways we can connect, including in person, if you want to dive in more deeply. So, okay, you're all awesome. Have a great day. Thanks for being here.